Asiri Dokubo declares war on IPOB. <laughs> Who is going to settle this war, Nigerians ask. Asiri Dokubo, the leader of the Biafra customary government on Wednesday, continued his viral attack on the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, saying he is at war with them. He said this during a Facebook Live session. Commenting once again on the sit-at-home order of the group, he said people obeyed the order to avoid being killed. Dokubo accused Namdekano, IPOB leader, of wrecking havoc in the southeast region. Hmm. Hello guys, you are welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you very much for this coming out here. If you are here for the first time, please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to give us thumbs up. Also, click on the notification button. This is where you get new updates whenever we upload any video. Thank you very much once again. I really do appreciate. Asiri Dokubo, the leader of the Biafra customary government, on Wednesday continued his viral attack on the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, saying he is at war with them. He said this during a Facebook live session. Commenting once again on the seat at home order of the group, he said people obey the order to avoid being killed. Dukubo accused Namdekano, the IPOB leader of wrecking havoc in the southeast region. He also accused IPOB Directorate of State, DOS, headed by Diaspora Base Chika, the dozen of scamming people. Why calling on Southeast residents to reach out to him as he is ready to train volunteers who would defend their land against IPOB militants? Hmm. Cowards, referring to IPOB, have been telling you over the years. Now I am ready for you. I am in the theater of war, killing you people. People are afraid of you. They are doing sit at home. They, IPOP proponents, no get any power. You can't spoil Igbo land. I will smoke you all at one by one and kill you all. Hmm. These beggars, <sighs> oh my God, these beggars, Babala Wo, are begging on television for money. They are collecting money to destroy our land. They have no jobs. They are all beggars because of money. They fought and divided themselves. This time around, I go show una pepe because I don't ready for now. Oh my God, this is Asiri Dukubo talking. Hmm. Just like what some Nigerians who have reacted here saying, who is going to settle this war between Asiri Dukubo and IPOB members? Don't forget that the Asiri Dukubo uh, is still agitating for Biafra Nation. Oh, I don't understand now. Now the IPOP member and the Asiri Dukubo is at war with each other. So how this matter will come be? Asiri Dukubo is now seeking for a cheap recognition from the same government he has been working against. He sounds scamful by asking that people should re rally around him to fight IPOP. <laughs> IPOP Biafra is a divine project. The only way the Nigerian government under the regime would assign one recognition is when Biafrans and IPOP are criticized on mind God is great. This guy is a hired fellow to cause disunity among IPOP loyalists. He's working for money. IPOP should check mate him in style for him not to achieve his aim. Asiri is a fool. You, you are never, you are never new these days. Okay, let me take it again. Asiri as a fool, you are, you never knew these days are not like before. They left you and you wasted people's lives because of your madness. As you are barking, kindly put your things in order because you will so stupidly waste that your useless life. Wow, that's harsh. 
IPOB is a problem of this country. Let's support APC and President Muhammad Buhari for making life easier. Hmm. Fools are talking. Ask Siri, first remove the plank in your eyes before trying to remove a piece of it from someone. Go and liberate your people first, whom you betrayed to federal government, when you claim that you want to free them, but later sold them due to your, you know, selfish interest. I will never comment on anything, okay, written by this pig again. Pig indeed, a big pig in human form. Who can do but little? Enter Igbo land and open that your stupid mouth and say that rubbish. If we come back to Delta State, the way you enter the Igbo land, okay? Asiri the Kubor is not from Delta State. It's from Bayasa State, okay? These are reactions by Nigerians. They are still talking. Sorry, oh bro, in which area he grows, please, because I am really bored now to see this guy. It's unfortunate that this man can turn himself to be God. Let's watch and see the end of the wicked. Asiri is a fool and a thief. He's a, a cutlass of two face. He's not a friend to Nigeria, non IPOP. He makes his money through crisis. Asiri has definitely laid the cards on the table. He sings diaspora social media warriors over to you. Asiri Dokubo, I don't think it's important to listen to fools. These are the people that betrayed John Togo, one of the major betrayers of mind. The type of leader that the North loves in order to continue their business in the land. God forbid. You are wise, bro. If you bring your face here in Igbo land, you will not live a life. He goes to Igbo land every Monday. So stop being online fighter, okay? Hmm. He should notify Igbo's about his coming so that we can come out in numbers to welcome him. Shut up your mouth. Which part of Igbo land did he go every Monday? Okay. Okay, guys, these are you know reactions from nigerians what's your take concerning this news actually dokubo the leader of the biafra customary government on wednesday continued his viral attack on the indigenous people of biafra saying he's at war with them i'm dropping it here guys kindly share your thoughts below the comment section and don't forget to give us a thumbs up thank you very much bye for now